First of all, I would like to welcome uh, all of those who are going to participate as speakers to this conference and all those who are going to be just participants and all those that will follow the conference in the future. I'm really pleased uh, to say that despite the facts and the uh, events that are ha happening worldwide and locally in Caucasus, we decided to go ahead. Of course, this is not going to be the usual three-day event with, with the enjoyment of wonderful scenes of Dilijan and Republic of Armenia, other places like Sevan and others, but hopefully next year we'll come together again. Today's our discussions probably will be also focusing on two, two issues, which is one C19. I C19 is the COVID-19. And I would say maybe we should talk also about C20. And C20 is Caucasus 20. What is happening in Nagorno-Karabakh and what is happening between Republic of Artsakh and Nagorno-Karabakh and Azerbaijan, involvement of <coughs> Turkey, and of course it hits or engages Armenia as well. Somehow symbolically, it's symbolic that we are starting our, our discussions today at 12 o'clock. Well, yesterday in Moscow, the foreign ministers of Armenia, Azerbaijan, and of course the foreign minister of Russia, Mr. Lavrov, has agreed that there'll be ceasefire in this conflict, which is already two weeks long, and has claimed hundreds and hundreds of lives, have, has claimed destruction everywhere. In Nagorno-Karabakh, villages, cities are hit, and so on and so forth. So we cannot avoid, we cannot avoid discussing C-19, and we cannot avoid today speaking about C-20 as well. So I welcome everybody, and I wish our conference success, and I'm looking forward myself to learn from my colleagues, whoever will be there, new ideas, new thoughts, new valuations. And again, just even before starting, I thank everybody for participation and, and organization, and it will be very difficult for me as an Armenian and president of Armenia not to thank all chairs of the Minsk group, which is United States, France, and Russia for mediating and bringing us to the ceasefire today. I Hopefully it will start working at 12 o'clock. And also special thanks to Russian Federation, the president and foreign minister, Mr. Putin and Mr. Lavrov for their efforts for this ceasefire. And I hope the ceasefire, I hope, will be the beginning of of going back to peace process.